My name is Jaime, giving you exclusive vents on headlines that you didn't even know you needed. And with that said, let's get on with some vents, humans. Sorry about that. My headphones feel like they were falling off my head. <laughs> but there is some creepy technology coming out all the time, humans. And this one, I believe, can affect some of the youngsters out there, some of the young ones out there, some of our cherished young ones, you know. For good, who knows? For bad, it feels kind of that way. But we'll get on with it, and let's get on with it. And I appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all for stopping by. Um, so there's this new startup company, and they call this product the MC10. And this this MC10 is like a real interesting new smart technology, is what they're calling it. And um, they're calling it wearable technology. But you think, oh, oh, it's like a wristwatch or something like that, or some earrings, or you know, like I don't know what it, it a hat, you know. But no, it's it's not. It, this is more like a a smart sticker or tattoo is what they're they're using for what uh, parents you know would probably be on board for something like this. They probably don't like your face tats and all your you know famous poetry you probably got going across your cheek, but they might be on board for one of these um, MC10 smart tattoos or smart stickers. And according to this company, you know. The smart tattoos or smart stickers, they're like a considered a bio stamp. So it's kind of creepy, like I said. And they say they, they don't say like, oh, we implant it on your skin, like implant, right? Nobody wants to implant the chips, right? Or they say they put it on the skin. They say it lives on your skin. So this sticker goes on. I don't know how many times, like if it's waterproof, you can take showers with it, you know. So you put this sticker, this is one of the versions of it, you put this this bio stamp on you, which is one of the versions and it provides whether it's the tattoo or the sticker version, it provides all your like minute to minute medical information. They can detect uh, neurodegenerative disorders. Also, this is what they claim. Okay. And they also says it has, it all, it also contains an accelerator, a gyroscope and a mini ECG, which measures the electrical signals by skeletal muscles. <laughs> wow all right then there was a version where the woman says like when you have this bio stamp and uh or whether it's the sticker or the tattoo version there's a pill you eat or you swallow and then this pill has like the reverse technology like the potato battery we used to make when we was in school and science fairs like it uses that technology so the acids in our stomach you know activate this little you know beacon inside so that thing can measure shit, you know, I don't know if it goes in our digestive tract or if they're able to steer the shit. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I think it's very creepy technology. The, you know, along with that, like uh, that GPT stuff, that uh, GP3, GPT3 chat, GP3, blah, that thing, that AI thing, you know, that, that chat module thing. You know, that stuff's getting all creepy and super advanced at too fast pace for me, for my, my comfort levels anyways not much you but this is a little bit more for me but so there's a uv patch also that would tell you out there like oh you've been in sun too much and here's your sun damage you know now go take care of your skin with these products that are probably bad for your skin pores you know go buy this this and this you know because it'll all hook up to your smartphone probably and um you, you know you probably go like oh scan over your fucking patch and scan over your sticker and see what's going on with the medical thing and it also records human activity that's right humans it will also be able to track you. You won't be able to just have like no privacy and go take a walk in the woods or go blow out some steam. They'll wonder what the hell you're doing over there. Oh, they got that new cut, that new tech. Let's see what these people are doing with the MC 10. You know, why is that guy in the dark alley? Why is he with that mysterious woman? Where did that mysterious woman go? Why can I only see her feet? You know, like all these weird questions could be happening when they're spying on you when you're supposed to be having your private time. <laughs> you're supposed to be having your me time. But I think this could be um, a real uh, danger for some of the future kids out there, you know, for the future young ones. Because, like, I feel like you have, like I said, no more privacy. No, like, no more adolescent, like, exploration. 
You know, like no more natural discovery because like you'll be tracked. Like if your parents are like, yo, you know, you said you were over here and, you know, the girl used to say you're going to go over here and go see your boyfriend your parents don't like or don't even know about because you're too young, maybe in their book to maybe be dating or talking to boys already. You know, so all that kind of stuff is like going to be gone. Like all the stuff you did is going to never fucking happen because these kids are going to all be crazy. But with it, with the thing I fear, like if you're going to be taking away this like natural exploration is what we'll call it. Um, what if they like rebel, you know, like they're going to they're going to turn into like more wild kids and crazy kids, you know, doing crazy shit. You probably don't want to do, you know, you probably wanted to deal with. You probably got to deal with enough with the children growing up. I'm a parent. You know, there was those stages you go through like, damn, you know, like really, you know, you can't just give them back. You can't do it. You got to just deal work through these processes. But this would be some whole new shit. You're like you could probably really you could really ground a future kid. Like you could really ground a kid in future. Like you just like shut all their shit off. Like you know you forgot to turn, you know, take out the trash. And your teacher said you haven't been doing your homework. You know, check your wrist you know, check your wrist tat. It says you're grounded. <laughs> like, you, and then you could just like cover, you know, shut all their stuff off and they won't be able to do anything. Like you could probably really ground a kid in the future. This is wild. This is wild. You wouldn't be able to, like, uh, talk your way out of a DUI, too, if you were an adult wearing this medical patch thing like that. Um, even, like, when you fill out those applications and when you go into the doctor's office and you'd be like, do you smoke? And you'd be like, no. Even if you do smoke, some people would be like, no, just to see what happens. Like, I'm just going to write it anyway. I don't, I don't smoke. You know, but the, and the patch ain't going to lie. So if you do smoke, the patch, oh, you do? So what's your smoking habit like? The paperwork says different. You see that doctor with some white out, you know, changing your, your info. You know, you, all those little things will be gone. When they pull, uh, the cop pulls you over. He's going to be like, have you been drinking? You, you know, have you been drinking, sir? You know, and you're going to sit there and look back and be like, no. And they're just going to be like, scan. You know, they're probably going to scan your shit before they even get to the car. You know, and who knows what else happens when they already know you've been drinking. Like, shut up. You know, it doesn't matter if you say yes or no when they already scanned your shit. This real privacy thing is, uh, is concerning to me, humans. Like... I don't think, I think it's just going to be all gone. If it's not already, I mean, sheesh. I mean, there's you, everything. We've got computers in our hands, phones in our hands, you know, cameras everywhere. Like people are just popping up, you know, tick, filming TikToks everywhere. You can catch a crime in the background. You know, some of you doing like doing something and then somebody getting mobbed in the back. You know, <laughs> quick, call 911 after your TikTok, you know, quick. You know, because cameras are every fucking where. Except for when it's time to bust a politician. You know, you don't seem to find those cameras. For some reason, there's never cameras around the crooked politicians. But around everybody else, those cameras is always working. Isn't that weird? That's kind of weird. That's a weird coincidence. It's a weird coincidence to me, humans. If only they would wear... You know, I believe when these companies come out with all this, you know, crazy uh, control you type of, you know, creepy type of technology, they should, you know, demonstrate it, you know, on themselves. Let us see you fucking do this shit. Like, put up, give us a channel to watch on TV or a website to go to, we can monitor y'all and see what's going on. I mean, we probably don't have to watch you how many shits you take, you know, and that kind of stuff. You're like, damn, you went to Subway again? You know, stuff like that. Like, we, we want to see you do it. Let's see you do it. <laughs> Let's see you do it. That's all I'm saying, humans. That's all I'm saying. Let's see them take a, take a whirl at it first. Give it, a, give it a whirl. Give it a, take a gander. Maybe we'll give it up. Maybe we wouldn't be so, um... <laughs> against it right off the bat if you guys are taking a while and, and we'll see if you taste if you how the test goes we just have to see how your test goes you know how they say it when we was kids you first you know or same time same time okay which whatever one you just do i'd I rather you i'd rather you first other than the same time well i hope y'all enjoyed this episode and this has been another episode of meant to rent till next time humans see you yeah.